and welcome to new discussion which we are going to have on basic image compression techniques and different image file formats. Uh, because uh, as we have been discussing high spatial resolution data and uh, other things, so sometimes uh, uh, these images acquire a lot of space on our hard disk, on our systems and uh, therefore and we need to compress the these images and uh, sometimes we want to keep them in compress mode and still would like to use. So, there are uh, many basic uh, image compression techniques which have been developed so far and have been implemented uh, in digital image processing. So, in this discussion we are going to have uh, that, uh, that discussion and also uh, we in simultaneously we will be also seeing and uh, what are the different image file formats available to us in uh, satellite in case of satellite images. As you know that uh, uh, these uh, images are stored as a two dimensional matrix and in rows and columns and uh, uh, the digital number of pixel value uh, is there uh, for each uh, pixel and uh, this uh, units is always square in shape whereas uh, overall shape of an image can be square or rectangular. Why I am repeating this because when we go for compression techniques and uh, then this uh, shape of overall image will play some role there. Therefore, uh, they mentioned to this uh, was necessary here. Whereas the square that means the unit will always remain square and uh, it will remain uniform throughout in terms of size throughout the image. That means, if I am handling a 10 meter res spatial resolution satellite image, then all pixels will represent 10 by 10 meter uh, ground area that means 100 square meter area. And uh, of course, uh, satellite images are uh, described as a or classified as a continuous data and uh, sometimes also as a thematic layer. And uh, there are various image formats which are very popular all are having a specific purposes like uh, example very popular one is the TIFF and uh, TIFF which is stands for tagged information file format that means the information about the file that means uh, some sort of metadata is also tagged with the image file itself or image data itself. So, it is uh, though generally we write just TIF rather than TIFF but here it stands for tagged information file format. So, information about the file is tagged with the image data that is what is TIFF very popular format. Another format is the GIF that is a graphic, a graphic interchange format very popular in animations uh, where uh, sequence of images are uh, put in one file that is a GIF file. Uh, EDAS Imagine very popular image processing software it uses its own uh, image format and uh, data format that is IMG format, uh, but it also allows us to handle other data sets like TIFF or uh, JPEG and other formats. Now, uh, uh, in order to understand um, four basic kinds of uh, data compression techniques, uh, we, we will be using this binary image as an example. The example which I am going to take is the most simple example uh, which, which is in binary, but in real images of course, things will become complicated. So, in order to understand the data compression techniques basically four basic kinds of data compression techniques, a very simple uh, or simplest possible example has been taken and uh, these uh, rows and lines which are uh, uh, you know showing rows and columns are just for our understanding in a real image these lines are not there only the pixels are arranged in a two dimensional matrix. So, this is just for our understanding and there are two main areas are here one is we can say is blank or zero area uh, or white areas and another one is the uh, gray areas which we can say as black areas and might be having a, since it is a binary. So, it might be having value pixel value 0 other values are 1. So, just binary image. So, two area uh, just two major uh, areas one is uh, having value 1 another one having value 0 black and white that is binary image. 
So, uh, when we uh, go for the first type of uh, uh, data compression technique which is called chain, uh, chain codes, in this uh, what we basically do that the boundary of the, uh, the region. So, first uh, it is assessed that uh, which part is less. So, in this our example the, the, the dark part or the black part is covering a less part of the total uh, input image. So, that boundary of uh, that uh, black part uh, is coded uh, in terms of its origin and the sequence of unit uh, squares because here pixels are square uh, vector units in cardinal direction that is in north, south, east, west. So, what uh, we say we start from say uh, this corner and goes like this, like this, like this and this and every part of this uh, um, black part is coded uh, as per uh, uh, that uh, uh, origin and sequence of unit vectors in the cardinal direction. And the uh, cardinal direction uh, or the codes which have been assigned uh, may be assigned in chain codes is uh, like for north it is uh, for uh, north it is 1, for east it is 0 and uh, for west it is 2 and uh, for south it is 3. So, starting say from east 0 and uh, then south uh, 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 3 uh, or uh, sorry uh, clockwise anti-clockwise. So, 0 east north uh, 1 uh, west 2 and south 3. So, anti-clockwise uh, can be assigned. These are just codes for uh, our understanding and different kind of codes say for an example north 1 and east 2 can be assigned then south will become 3 and then west can become uh, you know if 0 starts and then maximum we can go for 3 if 1 star uh, we give code 1 then it can go maximum to 4. So, uh, these are the directions which are used. Uh, so, for example, if we start at row 10, uh, row 10 here and uh, go uh, and uh, column 1 which is uh, column 1 because this uh, pixel has to be coded first and the boundary of then why clockwise we will record. So, uh, that means the we start from here and uh, this is uh, the boundary here is coded first that is uh, 0 and uh, these are just codes these are not uh, true uh, you know typical numeric values otherwise one can say how you can have a square of 0. These are just codes you know for our understanding. So, we move one direction in cardinal direction and our east direction is 0 therefore, 0 1 cell or 1 pixel here then we one uh, we go 1 up because for north we have given code uh, 1. So, 1 up then 2 towards east and therefore, and, uh, and for east direction we are having 2 0 and the 2 pixels have to be covered and therefore, uh, 0 is square in this one then 1 down that means towards the south and south is having code 3 only 1 pixel. So, like this and then again 2 pixels towards the east so 0 is square then 1 pixel towards the north for north we have assigned code 1. So, that is there and then go towards the east 0 and then again and likewise we cover the entire region like this. So, this way we will cover and let us see what it in the ends and when we reaches here then in north direction we go for the like this. That means uh, in north direction 3 pixels or 3 um, bit length of 3 pixels have to be covered and that way we will cover the entire uh, black part or shaded part in this example uh, putting these codes. So, then uh, it be I can uh, just store these number of uh, codes rather than storing for each cell or each pixel of input image. So, this is what it is called chain codes. Now, let us see another um, data compression technique which has been implemented in many softwares and sometime it is called RLE uh, run length encodes or run length codes. So, encodes RLE is also equally popular term here in run length code what basi basically is done is that uh, you know we uh, run along the length basically. So, the codes allow the points in each mapping units to be stored per row in terms of 
and left to right from a begin cell and to the end cell. Likewise, uh, that uh, first uh, row number 9, 2 cells have to be stored here, then another one and then 3 more. So, we run through the length that means the first uh, row 9 is chosen, then pixel number 2 and 3 as per the column 2 and 3 are coded, then only 6 because the length here is just 1 pixel width. So, 6 dash 6, then 8, 10. And for all such uh, uh, rows, uh, the coding is done. So, for example, for 16, then there are 3 cells, 3 pixels are in continuous, so 16 uh, and 9 to 11 likewise and rest uh, is coded in run length. And so, it is uh, another way of uh, you know storing the shaded area or dark area and automatically the other area will also be coded that is the white area. Now, there is another uh, type of uh, data compression technique which is called block codes. It is little complicated and uh, one can say that uh, why to have a uh, you know like uh, 1 by 1, 2 by 2 or 4 by 4, why not 3 by 3. But uh, when we go for these square units then this is the either 1 square, 2 square or 4 square, 3 square uh, cannot be done in such examples. So, there is in black block codes what we what we do that, the, that uh, because we are coding in each example the dark area uh, of this input image. So, first uh, the area which is such is for the largest uh, uh, block and largest block in our example can be uh, 4 by 4 as marked here in blue. Then next is 2 by 2 that is marked uh, those blocks are marked by um, red and then of course, uh, remaining will go we are in marked in black uh, and uh, they will be just uh, one block that means uh, unit size. So, the in basically in the block codes and uh, the idea which is we have just discussed in case of run length code uh, can be extended to two dimensions by using square blocks, square blocks of the, uh, the area which is the shaded area in our example to be mapped or to be stored. So, likewise uh, if we code uh, in black codes then the data structure consists of just three numbers that is the origin of the center of the block and uh, uh, then radius of each square also is there. So, here uh, there uh, only one square that means 4 by 4 uh, pixels there is only one square which is marked here in blue color. And uh, then plus uh, we will have you know 9 uh, squares of 4 uh, pixels that means 2 by 2 plus we will have uh, 17 unit squares that means of the uh, we are reaching to the unit level. And uh, if we store the origin of each of these squares whether it is a 4 by 4 or 2 by 2 or 1 and the size of a square then we can code the entire shaded part here. So, in that way we can do the block codes. So, the larger the square uh, we get that means the homogeneity which is present. Now, we are seeing some uh, more intricacies are coming in the uh, these data compression thing that uh, if an image is having large areas which are having the same pixel values that means there is a large uh, homogeneity is present you would achieve better compression. Even if you use uh, any of uh, the techniques which we are going. To. So, three uh, the third technique which we are discussing one more technique which we will discuss. So, it will depend the efficiency of uh, a compression will depend on the homogeneity of an image. If a image is having heterogeneous, heterogeneous means their pixel values are varying, adjacent pixel values are varying, uh, having varying pixel values, then you would not achieve high uh, compression. So, for example, if one is having images of a desert area or a water body and there are no not much movements uh, or waves are there, then probably large areas will have the same pixel value and therefore, high compression can be achieved. So, that is 
uh, what here uh, matters the uh, um, your homogeneity matters and uh, heterogeneity will not provide high compression the last technique which we are going to discuss is quartries is it, it is a, a more complex but it provides a better compression and uh, it has to it this uh, this technique too has been implemented extensively in many uh, in many uh, softwares uh, for data compression so in quartry what is done because uh, the example which we have taken a the overall shape of the image is a square and the, as i said in the beginning the example which i have taken is the simplest one the overall shape of image is square and only let's say binary image that is black and white pixels are there so let's let's uh, see first example of a simplest uh, uh, form and then we will uh, see when an, Im an image is rectangular in shape what will happen so when image and uh, square in shape first the entire image is divided in four quadrants and each quadrant uh, may be assigned codes like uh, 0 1 2 and 3 so for the north west quadrant 0 for this entire uh, area 0 is assigned and uh, for uh, other quadrants uh, 1 2 3 are assigned then search is made whether they it has achieved the homogeneity or not so in our example quadrant 0 and 1 has achieved homogeneity that means no further divisions would be required for these two quadrants whereas quadrant 2 and 3 would require further divisions so let's now go for quadrant 2 so that means further divisions so again four quadrants will be created like this that quadrant 2 will be divided again in four sub quadrants again the same way the search would be made and if homogeneity has been achieved then it will stop further divisions if it has not then it will go for further divisions like in this case if i take example of quadrant 2 0 because this is this will become 2 0 this will become 2 1 this will become 2 2 and this will become 2 3 so if i take example of 2 0 then again in, uh, homogeneity has not been achieved so far so four divisions would be done again the search is made so now in quadrant 2 0 2 and 2 0 uh, uh, 2 0 3 uh, homogeneity has been achieved but uh, quadrant 2 0 0 and 2 0 uh, 1 and uh, the homogeneity has not been achieved that means further divisions will be required so divisions will be uh, will be done till we reach to the unit level that is the pixel level and likewise uh, the image is coded and so if we see the uh, quotes the quadri quotes for this one and this would be something like this as you can see here and uh, that uh, the example um, uh, in this case only we have gone to the fourth level and each one has been assigned a code here because in uh, quadrant 2 overall quadrant 2 when two uh, you know four subdivisions were made the 0 so 2 0 then again subdivisions were made or quadrant were created so again 0 and then finally we reach to 1 and so on so forth so in quadri if a image is a square in shape it is much easier uh, to do and uh, to uh, achieve compression through quadri quite easily but if image is not a square in shape if it is in rectangular in shape and then there might be a different scenario so i'm taking an example uh, which is uh, uh, though it looks a square in shape but uh, this is just a schematic and so what happens if i if i divide in four uh, quadrants my origin is here then uh, i don't have uh, only one square is left uh, that is uh, in the same coding if i say 0 and uh, 1 uh, 2 here and then 3 here then i am not having uh, you know these quadrants as a square in shape nonetheless so extension on boundaries are done uh, before uh, before any uh, compression is applied and then um, uh, divisions will be made 
So, first uh, a rectangular image would be made uh, as a square in shape by adding few rows and columns on the one uh, on the sides and then divisions would be made. So, likewise the quartree representation of that land use map which we are seeing on the left side uh, will be done here. So, extension here on the uh, uh, on the uh, top side uh, extension is also done on the right side then only uh, quadrant means a square in shape would be achieved and also uh, in the bottom side as well as you can see the origin here is this one. So, on all sides basically may be done. Why it is called tree quad tree because this is the root. So, entire image starts from root 4 quadrants 0, 1, 2, 3 and uh, suppose in this example uh, the quadri example which we are seeing here the div, uh, in quadrant 0, 1 and 3 homogeneity has been achieved that means no further divisions are required whereas for the uh, this uh, region 2 uh, quadrant 2 further divisions are required. So, quadrant 2 further divisions are required 2, 0, 2, 1, 2, 2 and 2, 3 search is again made and it realized that uh, uh, quadrant 2, 1 uh, of 2 basically 1 of 2 is required for the divisions because homogeneity has been not achieved. Whereas, in quadrant 2, 0, 2, 2, 2, 3 homogeneity has been achieved therefore, no further divisions are required. So, 2, 1 is required for the divisions there and by this now at this stage we are reaching to the unit level. So, that is why it is a inverted tree or roots of a uh, tree which we are seeing here. So, it is called quad tree and uh, uh, attributes information that means the pixel values can be stored like this which is shown in this table. And though it sounds a uh, little complicated, but once it is coded it provides a very high compression compared to other three techniques uh, which we have. Uh, discuss like chain codes, block codes, run length and codes and uh, so quadri in that way is much better. One can argue instead of quad can I have octa, octree yes one can definitely have, but people have done that kind of comparative study uh, by compressing the same image using quadri and octi there is no significant improvement in that one. And uh, so a uh, lot of options are available. Many uh, software supports uh, these kind of uh, compression techniques. The compression techniques should not be destructive compression techniques. I mean that if I have compressed an image and whenever I want to decompress, I should uh, go back or I should achieve the same image as I put for the compression. And there is a compression or a file format also a compression technique which is called JPEG. JPEG is having uh, problem. It is, uh, it is uh, uh, we can put in a destructive compression technique. That means, the image when it is uh, saved as uh, JPEG, then the image quality is compromised uh, and there is a trade off that means, you achieve very uh, high compression. And there are uh, other compression techniques, uh, many of uh, details might not be available and uh, like for TIFF uh, images we can have a LJW compression apart from those 4 I am discussing now and LJW compression can be applied on TIFF, TIFF images or other image formats uh, which is again common available in many softwares which was developed by 3 mathematicians Abraham Lempel, Lempel Jacob Jib and Terry Wells and uh, uh, you know uh, first character of their surnames have been uh, given this name LJW that is uh, Lemp, uh, uh, Lempel, uh, Jib and Wells. So, uh, this is called uh, a uh, LJW very popular compression technique. Uh, two commonly used uh, file formats in LJW which can be applied uh, on GIF or TIFF image formats are used and LZ compression is also suitable for compressing text files because so far we have been discussing only image files, but text files have can also be compressed. We will not in go for a uh, discussion on text file because the redundancy see the homogeneity is the major factor uh, to achieve better compression. If 
if because in text uh, uh, the uh, redundancy part is very less and therefore in a typed text and therefore one cannot achieve very high compression whereas in case of satellite images sometimes and uh, the redundancy part the homogeneity is much more and therefore one can achieve high compression so if you if you save a uh, like i am taking an example if you save a tiff image these are the compressions might be available and uh, the ljw compression is shown here if you choose this compression and uh, then the different uh, codes like rle i was mentioning run length and code there are some other uh, you know variant of these basic uh, uh, compression techniques are also available which you can uh, choose and jpeg is also given here and another one very popular which we use is zip which compress uh, basically try to compress each and everything and or rather entire folder but uh, and sometimes only in the images you can achieve better compression but in case of just simple text files we don't achieve much compression because redundancy is not there so rle and ljw can go uh, for tiff files because we are trying to save a tiff file therefore and uh, this kind these kind of options might be available depending on the uh, software if we go for jpeg as i have been mentioning that jpeg is a destructive compression technique for example if i have original image was in the tiff format i have compressed in jpeg format or saved as a jpeg format and i have deleted my original tiff format tiff file now by an un uh, by uncompressing or saving as again tiff uh, i will not achieve the same quality of image because jpeg is destructive but the same time it provides a very high compression so uh, though in in options there is a like lossless compression so it is a compromise it will though it will provide some compression but not a very high compression but at the same time there will not be any loss that means non destructive and jpeg is also possible quality you can control that how much uh, and uh, you want to compromise on the quality if you keep 100% that means you are going for a lossless compression but if you keep 50% you are compromising on the quality also in jpeg in some softwares and this is very interesting options are also available sometimes we have to upload an image of it is restricted said that image has to be only 1 megabyte so we can also save as that image in jpeg and declaring here that i want only 1 megabyte or 2 megabyte so i can go for this option and uh, i can constrain here that the image compression and accordingly the quality will be chosen of a uh, jpeg so jpeg is a, a, a jpeg provides very high compression but at the same time it compromises with the quality so if you are saving any image uh, from tiff to jpeg please do not delete your tiff image because you cannot uh, normally in normal circumstances you cannot go back to the original quality which was available through tiff now these uh, ljw compression techniques uh, which uh, uh, which takes uh, for example 12 bits data and creates their own tables uh, which are called dictionary or code books and then uh, they uh, compress the data and uh, similarly there are different versions like in, in jpeg there are different versions uh, of uh, compression techniques latest is 2000 in jpeg similarly in ljw in some uh, softwares you may find uh, these options or these versions like uh, this ljw of 77 78 or later ljw so they basically they look uh, uh, they, the compression is achieved through lookup tables in uh, having different approaches in different versions and uh, these decoding programs or that is uncompressing programs will be accordingly should also be chosen now this uh, uh, jpeg is a basically a iso group and which is stands for joint photographic expert group and uh, this uh, jpeg is usually as we know that is pronounced as jpeg jpeg is uh, choosing a range of compression is there 
and when uh, JPEG is uh, there, uh, we convert an image from another format and the question is asked to specify the quality you want. So compromise is there, one has to be very, very careful. So this uh, we have already discussed. There is another format which is also equally popular which is called the PNG format uh, uh, apart from your GIF format which are also available. Uh, which are also used on internet especially the GIF format or PNG format and these are non-destructive but obviously GIF uh, uh, saves many images in one single file uh, having a different uh, thing. For example, I can show you uh, this uh, uh, GIF, uh, GIF is also popular for 2D data set. So the example let me show you and uh, this animation also I have shown uh, in some other presentations. So this is in the GIF format. There are 8 uh, uh, scenes uh, which have been put in one single file. A GIF file has been created and uh, these are very, this format is very popular for animations. One more example of uh, GIF uh, is given here uh, where um, you know many scenes have been more than 10 scenes have been uh, put in a time sequence and each frame time gap has also been set and accordingly one can create a GIF. So many say 10 scenes can be put in one single file and therefore one can say that this is also a type of compression technique. But uh, using this format, uh, one can create uh, beautiful animations which are very popular on internet. So um, uh, GIF, uh, there are also versions of GIF are available uh, which is a graphic interchange format or interlaced for presentations. Also GIF uh, with along with the PNG format has been developed especially for internet and uh, and uh, these are very popular on this. Now <clears throat> two more points which I want to discuss uh, before I close this discussion. One is uh, Mr. Sid, uh, a multi-resolution seamless uh, image data set or database. Basically this is also a compression technique. Uh, this is uh, this technique has been developed by a company which is called Lizard Tech and uh, the details about uh, uh, the intricacies or inside of this compressions are copyright protected and uh, therefore uh, only the, the advantages or uh, um, the benefits which we get uh, can I will be discussing uh, because this is the technique which uh, provides the highest compression so far and this is basically non-destructive image compression technique Mr. Sid. And the images, uh, high resolution images which you see on uh, say Google Earth or other platforms, they in the background Mr. Sid data compression uh, tools or techniques are being used there. It provides a very high com compression, even it can provide compression up to 50 times. That means if I am having an image of 50 MB using Mr. Sid compression tool, I can reduce to 1 MB and that too without uh, destruction. Uh, so 50 times full color image can be reduced by 50 times. So this ratio of compression is very, very high. And uh, this uh, technique uses the wavelet uh, concept or wavelet uh, transform and it, uh, it has been developed uh, by national research laboratories but it is copyright. Uh, protected. And uh, like uh, 40 CDs data can be stored in just one CD if we compress using Mr. Sid. Uh, software like EDAS supports uh, any file of 500 MB or less can be saved as Mr. Sid. But if I am image file is more than 500 MB then I have to pay for to that company to, sa uh, to save or compress my image file. So free is available up to only uh, 500 MB. The last uh, in this discussion is about the parameters. This is a different concept uh, though we uh, one can argue that this is not really a compression technique but uh, none, nonetheless it provides a faster display. And uh, parameters means uh, that uh, the base uh, uh, will have a high spatial resolution images and uh, at the apex uh, you would have a 
coarser resolution representation. So that means when I am displaying a large area, I would be seeing at a relatively a coarser resolution. When, when I go for zoom in, I continuously and going in, uh, you know, inside of that pyramid, going towards the bottom, going towards the higher spatial resolution, and why which uh, I can improve the display performance uh, of my system. So, Pyramids is a very popular. It has been implemented in uh, like popular software like ArcGIS or Redis. And first time when you display, try to display any image of a larger size, the system will ask, "Do you want to create Pyramids?" So, if you go for yes option and then only two small files are created in your system having the first before, uh, before point uh, having the same name only the extensions would be different and a pyramid will be created in few second time. Next time when you will display the image which uh, for which uh, pyramids have already been created then the display is going to be very very fast. So, it is basically it can speed up the display of raster images by retrieving data only at a specified resolution and that is required for the display. So, larger the area, coarser the resolution it will display, but when we go for the uh, zoom in that means I am asking to display a smaller area, but at higher res spatial resolution. So, Pramit works in that way. At the coarsest level, the resolution is uh, quick quickly drawn because it is using coarse resolution. That means uh, parameters at the top of the parameter. When we I zoom in, then I am going towards the finer spatial resolution or towards the bottom of the parameter. And that way, uh, the my display becomes, uh, this uh, figure on the right side depicts that thing, that uh, at this scale or uh, that uh, the resolution, uh, you know, just four cells 4 pixels are representing the area, but when I zoom in like here it is shown zoom in, then I am going for finer and finer spatial resolution. When I zoom out, uh, then I go for coarser and coarser spatial resolution and uh, that means it improves the display performance of our, our system by just creating pyramid only once. The first time when you display an, any file on your system and uh, then it will ask do you want to create pyramid? And once you have said yes, then next time it will not ask and your display will be faster. So, in that way, uh, one can say that it provides a, a compression kind of thing, but no harm to original image. See the, we are talking of high spatial resolution, that means the quality we are talking. And if we have to compromise the quality, then no use of going for high spatial resolution. For example, nowadays, you know, with mobile cameras, we are going for higher and higher megapixels camera. But at the same time, people are storing their images from high megapixel camera in JPEG format. And therefore, uh, when they acquire the image, originally they have destroyed the quality of image. So, better it is if you are using high spatial resolution cameras, it is better first to store image in uh, TIFF and later on if it is required you can convert to or save as a JPEG. And uh, because that is why we are going for higher spatial resolution uh, camera or higher spatial resolution satellite images. So, satellite images especially should not be uh, initially stored in JPEG format because JPEG is a destructive kind of image compression. The original file if it has been deleted, then the same quality by decompressing JPEG or save as JPEG as TIFF, you will not achieve. So, this one has to keep in mind. Many techniques which I have discussed are all non-destructive except the JPEG. So, parameters uh, basically as I was saying and uh, provides a final resolution at the zoom in and it maintains a, a very good uh, efficiency in the display and uh, that uh, basically uh, makes our uh, uh, you know system more efficient and uh, basically it uh, resample at a smaller size the entire data set at the coarser size in the pyramid and that is the it helps the display uh, very quickly. So, this uh, uh, pyramids uh, details are here and uh, uh, larger the image it is always go better to go for 
uh, parameters. Example here, when you first time display, this example is from ArcGIS. When you go for display, it will ask whether the parameter may make a few movements, but would you like to create parameters? Because this raster data source does not have parameters. So, first is checks whether parameters have already been created or not. If yes, then it will not ask, but if it no, it will ask. So, once the parameter has been created, then of course, there are some options will also be there. So, better if we want to retain the quality of an image, then always choose nearest neighbor, which is generally in the default and uh, compression and other things you can change. And once it has been created, then you get the advantage of faster display on your system. So, this brings to the end of our discussion. We started with the four basic data compression techniques. Then we also discussed the LGLW which is associated with TIFF and JIP. We also discussed uh, Mr. Sid which provides very high compression, a completely non-destructive data compression technique but which is uh, copyright protected. So, if you are having large data sets, then you have to pay. And finally, we have discussed about the parameters. It helps us to display large images of high spatial resolution at a very high speed. But if I have to cover, if I have to display the entire image of high spatial resolution, then parameters will help me to display very quickly. So, this brings to the end of this discussion. Thank you very much. Thank you.